Hi everyone, my name is Shivani and today I'm really looking forward to sharing five things I wish I knew before starting my science degree at the University of Sydney. Just before we get started, a little bit of background about me. So I recently just graduated from my Bachelor's of Science degree at the University of Sydney and currently I'm a first year medical student at Bond University. So let's rewind now back to when I got my HSC results December 2018 and I'm sure this is a period which a lot of you who are watching the video are in right now awaiting your HSC results coming out really soon. When I got my results, I was quite disappointed and not really sure what I was going to do in the following year. And I felt, you know, a bit lost, but somehow I knew on my horizons, I did have the healthcare sector in mind and maybe down the line, I would consider going into medicine. But at that time, I knew I didn't really have the commitment or dedication then to push myself to get in. And I kind of just wanted a buffer period in my life. This led me to pick the Bachelor's of Science degree at the University of Sydney. I mainly chose this because it was a really broad and versatile degree and it gave me a lot of flexibility in terms of majors and minors that I could pick. It was a nice big university, could meet a broad variety of people and would give me a bit of thinking time too to decide what I really actually liked studying and wanted to perhaps do down the future as a career. This would probably take me to my first point that the major that you actually pick in university, especially with your bachelor's of science, might not be actually the major you end up sticking with. So for example, um, when I just enrolled in my degree, I went through the list of majors available and you know, I went through a few of them. I was like, yeah, tick, cross, highlight. I really like some of these and I settled on neuroscience as my major. And this incorporated a little bit of psychology units. So when it came to the time I did those actual psychology units, I found I wasn't actually very good at it and didn't enjoy it very much. This resulted in me actually jumping ship and changing to a major of biochemistry and molecular biology. Um, not just me, I remember quite a few of my friends in the degree as well doing something similar as when you start out you know you might pick something you might pick a major that was related to content you liked in high school such as chemistry or physics and that's totally okay but you might realize at university level they're not really for you or you might just be interested in something else altogether and that's perfectly fine and this takes me to my second point that of the bachelors in science, you've got a major and a minor. Your minor doesn't actually have to be from the science faculty. So I didn't realize this well into the end of my second year and something I regret not knowing earlier on, but you can actually pick a minor from, an, from the arts faculty, or you can pick it out of a shared pool. So what this means is your major can be, for example, like what I did at biochemistry and your art, uh, your minor can be, say, film studies or can be economics or can be bioethics. There's actually a large variety of minors that you can pick from and I would highly recommend doing a major in science and a minor in arts, mainly because it creates a bit of diversity in your week. You know, after you've done a lot of science study, you're like, oh, I'm a bit sick of learning all this theory. It's really nice to go and do a bit of arts content, you know, and meet some new people from other faculties and do different styles of assessments. Um, a lot of science uh, major content tends to be just final, very heavy exams and in semester mid-sems, whilst the arts units that I did, for example, film studies and bioethics, a lot of these were essay writing and presentations and group projects. I found these were a little bit more fun and helped me explore a different side of academia. And since you're at such a nice big university, it'd be a really good opportunity to capitalize on um, and diversify your knowledge base, basically. So this takes me to my third point that the bachelors of science 
actually requires you to take four mandatory math units. Now, math wasn't my strong suit when I left high school and honestly, I still don't enjoy it very much. So when it came to these four units, I just picked the middle of the three levels of difficulty that they offered at the uni and I got on with those units and just got my marks and walked away. Um, for those of you that found math as your strong suit, perhaps you might even consider doing the more challenging units as these can be a WAM or GPA booster for you. So it's personal preference and what works for you. My fourth point is that even though you might take the three-year Bachelors of Science, which is not the advanced version, um, you can actually apply to the advanced stream units, uh, sorry, advanced stream within the unit. And this can be done by emailing the professors that run a, run a certain unit or applying by a Sydney student. And if you show them that your good track record of you know, doing well in previous semesters, I'm sure they're more than happy to accept you on. I recommend doing an advanced stream as part of the unit, simply because the Bachelor's of Science is such a huge degree, there are so many people. It would be really nice to meet um, and study with a smaller group of students and perhaps find a study buddy in there as well. I also feel like you're not really alone when you're um, preparing and cramming for finals and all those sorts of things. Finally, about GPA and WAM. So these are how we evaluate your scores at university. The University of Sydney bases this off the WAM system. And if you do a science degree, you get something called a SIWAM. Now the SIWAM accounts for your second and third year marks. But don't be fooled like me and think that, oh yeah, my first year marks don't actually matter. Because if you're considering a career afterwards, such as medicine or anything else, honestly, they will consider all three years of your WAM. And this might sometimes be converted to a GPA for another university. So don't neglect um, your first year marks as they do matter. And if anything, they're actually easier to score in, in first year. So try to get all your distinctions and HDs then if um, a really good WAM is what you're after with your Bachelors of Science. So all in all, I hope this video was helpful for you and giving you an insight into some things you might want to be aware of before you start your degree. And honestly, I found this as a great buffer before I started medical school. It gave me a bit of thinking time, did I actually even want to do medicine, gave me a bit of exposure to some of the content as I took human anatomy and histology as my minor and gave me a great opportunity to make new friends after coming out of high school that were from quite different backgrounds to me and was on the whole a very positive experience. If you have any questions about um, anything I've spoken about today, uh, please drop a comment and I'm more than happy to elaborate and hit the like and subscribe for more videos about the Bachelor's of Science degree at Houston, further advice from me and also in the future videos from my life as a first year medical student at Bond University. Till then, bye!